Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the gamma distribution's probability density function and its cumulative distribution function. Let's take a look at our spreadsheet. Now here the two charts are that we're going to create. On the left is the gamma distribution's cumulative distribution function and on the right is the probability density function graph. The gamma distribution has two parameters, alpha and theta. Alpha is sometimes called the shape parameter and theta is sometimes called the scale parameter. Let's vary those and watch the interactivity reflected in our chart. So changing alpha from 3 to 4, then we can see the changes reflected in the chart. Then from 4 to 5, more changes. And then back to our original 3. Let's change theta from 7 to 9. And then from 9 to 15, we can see the changes reflected in the chart. And back to our original 7. So this is what we're going to create, these two charts, and we'll create them separately. Well, the first thing we need to do is create data for the x and y axis. Let's do that right now. There are three columns of data we're going to create. First column of data is the x-axis data, time t. So we're going to create that right now. Time t starts out with 0. The next cell equals the previous cell plus 1, so 0, 1. There it is, 0, 1, and we're going to center that data in the cell. Then we're going to drag that cell down. To do that, put the cursor on the cell, then put the cursor in the corner to see the cross, and then drag that cell down. We're going to drag down until we get to 20. We need three more, 17, 18, 19, 20. Drag down a little bit more. And there's our x-axis data for both charts. Now let's take a look at the y-axis data. The cumulative distribution function data in cell C34, here are the contents. And we're going to be dragging these two formulas down. Notice C34 is cumulative distribution function, D34 is probability density function. The only difference is the red true and red false. Now what we want to do first is verify the inputs for both cells. So select the cell and then hit the precedence button. This is Excel 2003 and we can see the arrows pointing to the inputs for that cell. That would be the alpha and theta and the x-axis data time t. And that's correct. Let's erase those arrows and do the same process for the probability density function. Hit the precedence button and verify the inputs. Alpha, theta, and time t. Okay, so we know the inputs are correct. Well, let's drag these two formulas down. So what we do is we select both cells, put the cursor in the corner of that large cell, and then drag the whole thing down, dragging the formulas down. There we have the x and y axis data for both charts. Let's create the probability density function chart first. It's pretty straightforward to do, and this is Excel 2003. So just put the cursor anywhere you'd like, and then select Insert, then Chart. It's an area chart, first variation of the area chart. Hit Next. Data is in columns, and we're going to add our first and only series of y data. So hit Add. Okay, and now we're going to put a label on that Y data. And this is a probability density function. The label will be probability of event occurring at time t, given the functions alpha and theta. Since this is probability density function, this is the probability of the event occurring exactly at time t. If it were the cumulative distribution function, it would be the probability of the event occurring within time t. And as soon as we type that and hit return, we'll see that label on the chart. There it is. Now we're going to delete what's in the values box and then hit that little square in the corner. And we're going to select all the data for the probability density function, all of the y-axis data. As soon as we select that, and then hit that little square in the corner of the dialog box, data is now in the chart. Do the same thing for the x-axis data. Hit that little square, select time t. This is the x-axis, so select all of the data for time t. Hit the square in the corner of that dialog box, and x and y-axis are in for that chart. Now we're going to put the chart title in, so select the title tab. Title for this chart is the gamma distribution probability density function. And once again, as soon as we type that in, it will appear on top of the chart as the chart's title.
There it is. Category X axis time T. Then next, we're almost finished. Hit finish. There's our chart. Well, let's drag our chart up and drop it on top of the existing chart, the existing probability density chart on the right. And we will resize our new chart so it sits right on top of the old chart. Just reduce the length, the width a little bit, and there we a little bit more. There we go. Now let's vary the inputs, the alpha and the theta, and verify that we have made the chart correctly. We want to see the re the uh, interactivity reflected in the chart. Varying theta from seven to ten. Let's put our original numbers back in there. Alpha equals three, theta equals seven. That's our original chart. Okay. Now let's go create the cumulative distribution chart on the right. Almost the same process. Put the cursor anywhere you'd like. Insert chart and it's an area chart. First variation of the area chart. Next. Data is in columns. We're going to add our one and only series of Y data. Okay, so the name of that, since this is the cumulative distribution function, the label that's going to be attached to the Y data is probability of event occurring within time t given the functions alpha and theta. So within always indicates pro the uh, cumulative distribution function. If we said exactly at time t, that would be the probability density function. So as soon as we type this in there and hit enter, uh, we will see that label put up on the chart. Okay. Now we delete what's currently in the values box, hit that little square, and go select everything under the cumulative distribution function. We're creating the Y data for this chart. So select all that data. Then hit the square in the corner of that dialog box. That square. There you go. Now we're going to put in the x-axis data. Once again, that's time t. So hit that square in the corner of the dialog box right there. and select all of the time t data. This is the x-axis time t. Hit the square in the corner of the dialog box and all the data is in there. Next we're going to put in the correct chart title and that would be the gamma distribution cumulative density function. And As soon as we type that in there and hit enter the title will appear on the chart. There it is. Okay, category x axis time t. Okay, hit next. We're almost finished. Now hit finish and we should see our chart. There it is. Let's drag this chart up and drop it on top of the original chart on the left. And we'll resize it so it sits right on top of the original chart. And we'll verify the interactivity by varying the alpha and theta that are the gamma distribution parameters. And watch that. Watch that interactivity reflected in both charts. So alpha is 6, theta is now 10, and alpha changed to 3, theta back to our original 7. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com/emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.